Hello Internet, welcome back to Total OS Today. Well, this video is for the dual boot wannabes or people who are considering running Linux, a Linux based operating system alongside your Windows based operating system. So, this video is going to be another Linux dummies video or, you know, a video for newbies, new people. Now, when I say dummies, I mean that with all due respect meaning that if you're new to this, they just need a little bit helping hand regarding Linux versus Windows or Linux and Windows, then you've come to the right place. So welcome aboard. Okay, last month I posted a video entitled the number one Linux question, can a Windows PC be completely, be completely replaced by a Linux based operating system? Well, if you want the answer to that, just go watch the video because this particular one is num is the number two Linux question, and that is, can you keep your Windows PC or your Windows-based operating system and install Linux and have it running at the same time? The answer is absolutely you can. In fact, that's the only way that I do it for all my computers except one, and the reason why that one laptop doesn't have two operating systems on it because it's very old and it's slow and I installed a lighter version of Linux. But getting back to this topic, you can install uh, Ubuntu. Well, these what I recommend for new users, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, or Zorn. And there's been more frequent questions popping up on these Zorn videos, which makes sense because Zorn looks like Windows. Uh, but it's not Windows. It looks like it. It can do many functions like Windows, but not everything. So the question is again, can you download Linux or Zorn and keep your Windows 7 or Windows Vista or XP? The answer is absolutely yes. Now I will not go into a whole video process of the installation process. I've done that many times before. So let me just show you a screenshot. And this is taken from uh, my Ubuntu or from, uh, from Ubuntu's installation process graph. Uh, this will, or a screenshot, this will pop up on your screen. Something like this will. If you are attempting to install Ubuntu, uh, Zorn, or Linux Mint, and you will see something like that. This computer currently has Windows 7 or Windows Vista or, you know, or something on it or XP. What would you like to do? You have three options. Install Ubuntu or Linux Mint or Zorn alongside Windows 7 replace Windows 7 with Ubuntu or Linux Mint or Zorn or do something else. I always choose the number one option. Why? Because I enjoy dual booting and in some cases I still need to use Windows to run certain functions here on my desktop. The second option if you don't want to have Windows at all then just choose this replace Windows 7 with Ubuntu. The third option is to do something else. Never, ever, ever, ever choose the third option unless you know exactly what you are doing or if you don't care if you make a mistake. Don't choose the third option. For 99% of Linux dummies or new users coming from Windows to Linux, this is going to be your best option is option number one. Install whatever alongside Windows 7. Now, this should work at least in my opinion more than 90 to 95 percent of the time but that being said back up anything important inside your Windows PC on an external hard drive or flash drive just in case something goes wrong it happens very very rarely and of all the multiple installations I've done and I've lost track that's how many something went, went wrong once it only happened once, but you only need that one time to go wrong to really mess up things in your life. So, the answer is yes, you can install a Linux-based operating system like Zorn alongside Windows 7 and run both and keep both successfully without any issues more than 90 to 95 percent of the time. And an example like this is, uh, you know, say you really, really like to play your PC games and you don't want to run it in uh, Linux using VMware or Wine and you, you just want to keep Windows for your games, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So when you boot into your computer, just boot into Windows. 
and if that's all you're going to use it for for your Windows side you can just boot into Zorin Linux and use that for everything else it should be fine or for mostly everything else I don't play PC games myself on a PC so it doesn't matter but for some things oh for example my Microsoft Zune mp3 player I have to use that in Windows to install the media and the updates and stuff like that but for most of the time right now I strictly use Linux and to prove I'm running Windows 7 this obviously is Windows 7 that I'm doing this this tutorial alright that's it for this video I hope this helps comfort you who are thinking about downloading Zorin Linux or Linux Mint or Ubuntu and wondering if you can keep Windows 7 yes you can just Follow the guidelines here on how to install Linux. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future.